God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. O crown of virgins, Jesus, Lord, whom once a virgin pure conceived, whom Virgin Mary bore with joy, in mercy now our prayer receive. As spouse of beauty past compare, you feed above the lilies fair, surrounded by those virgin souls who dedicated all honor, glory, virtue, praise Resound to God in persons three To Father, Son, and Spirit too In time and in eternity The Lord is my light and my help. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is my light and my help. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Before whom shall I shrink? When evil doers draw near to devour my flesh, it is they, my enemies and foes, who stumble and fall. Though an army encamp against me, my heart would not fear. Though war break out against me, even then would I trust. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, for this I long, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to savor the sweetness of the Lord, to behold his temple. For there he keeps me safe in his tent in the day of evil. He hides me in the shelter of his tent. On a rock he sets me safe. And now my head shall be raised above my foes who surround me, and I shall offer within his tent a sacrifice of joy. I will sing and make music for the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is my light and my help. Whom, Whom shall, shall I fear? fear? I long to look on you, O Lord. Do not turn your face from me. O Lord, hear my voice when I call. Have mercy and answer. Of you my heart has spoken. Seek his face. It is your face, O Lord, that I seek. Hide not your face. Dismiss not your servant in anger. You have been my help. Do not abandon or forsake me. O God, my help, though father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Instruct me, Lord, in your way. On an even path lead me. When they lie in ambush, protect me from my enemy's greed. False witnesses rise against me, breathing out fury. I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Hope in him. Hold firm and take heart. Hope in the Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I long to look on you, O Lord. Do, Do not, not turn, turn your, your face, face from me. He is the firstborn of all creation. In every way the primacy is his. Let us give thanks to the Father for having made you worthy to share the lot of the saints in light. He rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of his beloved Son. Through him we have redemption, the forgiveness of our sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creatures. 
In him everything in heaven and on earth was created, things visible and invisible. All were created through him, all were created for him. He is before all else that is. In him everything continues in being. It is he who is head of the body, the church, he who is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead, so that primacy may be his in everything. It pleased God to make absolute fullness reside in him, and by means of him to reconcile everything in his person, both on earth and in the heavens, making peace through the blood of his cross. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. He is the firstborn of all creation. In In every every way the primacy primacy is his. The unmarried man is busy with the Lord's affairs, concerned with pleasing the Lord. The virgin, indeed any unmarried woman, is concerned with the things of the Lord in pursuit of holiness in body and spirit. The virgins are led into the presence of the King amid gladness and joy. The virgins are led into the presence of the King amid gladness and joy. They are brought into the King's dwelling place amid gladness and joy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The virgins are led into the presence of the King amid gladness and joy. Saint Cecilia kept the gospel of Christ ever near her heart. Day or night she never ceased praying and speaking with God. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Saint Cecilia kept the gospel of Christ ever near her heart, Day or night she never ceased praying and speaking with God. Christ extolled those who practiced virginity for the sake of the kingdom, 
Let us praise him joyfully and pray to him. Jesus, example of virgins, hear us. Christ, you presented the church to yourself as a chaste virgin to her spouse. Keep her holy and inviolate. Jesus, example of virgins, hear us. Christ, the holy virgins went out to meet you with their lamps alight. Keep the fidelity of your consecrated handmaids burning brightly. Jesus, example of virgins, hear us. Lord, your virgin church has always kept its faith whole and untarnished. Grant all Christians a whole and untarnished faith. Jesus, Example of virgins, hear us. You have given your people joy in celebrating the feast of your holy virgin. Give us constant joy through her intercession. Jesus, example of virgins, hear us. You have admitted the Holy Virgins to your marriage banquet. In your mercy, lead the dead to your heavenly feast. Jesus, example of virgins, hear us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Lord of mercy, be close to those who call upon you. With Saint Cecilia to help us, hear and answer our prayers. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.